Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rose. It's 1135 after an all-night light show that we had. The lightning was intense. And I tell you what, the, not only were those storms intense last night, too, with all the wicked winds, but of course the lightning, too. Now we're getting the flooding from this morning. We had a lot of flash flood warnings out. Those have expired. We've got more rain headed our way, and especially west of the Wabash. So, I mean, we've, we've been pummeled pretty good by the storms over the past 15, 18 hours. And, yeah, I mean, it's the wind last night. We had a wind gust last night at the Evansville Airport of 68 miles an hour. I mean, anywhere from 50 to 70 miles an hour with some of those storms. A lot of lightning all night long, and now we've had the heavy rain. But we're getting a break right now in Evansville. Of course, taking a look at downtown Owensboro, too. Getting a break from the rain right now. That's our roofclaim.com camera on top of the Hampton Inn. From the backyard, our Heads Construction Tower cam shot looking down upon the Strip in Henderson. Hey, nice to see the traffic moving northbound and southbound. And from on top of Fifth Third Bank, tallest building in town, we've got our superior ag camera with a superior view of the mighty Ohio River, which is, of course, rising with all the rain that we've had. And a lot of that rain, though, we had last night and this morning did not go upriver, so that's going to help us out a little bit. 78 degrees right now. Dew point continues to climb. Uh, 67. We're going to be seeing it climb into the low 70s later on. With the wind currently calm, and the wind is going to be uh, picking up some with some of these thunderstorms, uh, but it, I'm not expecting anything like what we had last night, that's for sure. We still have a chance for an isolated severe storm uh, for damaging winds. That would be the western half of the tri-state. 70 in Princeton, 72 Jasper. Cooler up to the north, more clouds, and of course the rain cool there. Almost 80 now in Madisonville, 79, 70 in Greenville, uh, where they haven't seen much of any rain so far today. Check out some of these shots from last night. This is a lightning shot, cloud to cloud. Awesome. I mean, like a horseshoe of lightning there. Kerry Cox got that shot from Owensboro. I mean, a lot of times getting lightning strikes is difficult. Last night, it was not difficult. You just point your camera and shoot, and you're bound to get a bolt there somewhere. So, and that's what Kerry did, and she got a good one. Love this rainbow here from Wendy Pole in Mount Carmel, looking just north of there, and she saw that wonderful or just north of Mount Carmel is where she got that shot. She's got that wonderful rainbow as she looked to the east. I love it. Thank you so much, Wendy, for sending that great vivid bow right there. She sent me a second picture showing the double bow, so that was neat. Anyway, still a little bit of rain, mainly to the north of 64 now, as a lot of that rain has dried up pretty quickly in the past hour, so like to see that as Evansville starts to dry out a little bit, though, but we still have some more showers and thunderstorms up to our north. You can see this cluster of thunderstorms starting to weaken, though, as it moves to the south out of the Effingham area and into basically the U.S. 50 corridor is where it is now. Not as impressive as what it was upstate. That's good. Losing some of its punch. Look at these rainfall estimates, especially north of US 50, but even south of there, we've had some pretty impressive totals. And look at this total here from Posey County, central Posey County between New Harmony and Mount Vernon. You've got 6.2 inches of rain, a lot of that this morning. Uh, so a heap and helping of rain, no doubt about that. Well, here's that cluster of thunderstorms as it continues to travel to the south. We still have a lot of rain, even though it looks like it's weakening some, at least along the leading edge. We're still talking about plenty more rain where they don't need rain. Some very saturated ground where some areas have seen up to a foot of rain in parts of southeast Illinois and central Illinois. Anyway, future trackers showing the rain kind of drying up as we head into the afternoon. A better dose of sunshine. Temperatures are going to be warming into the 80s. Might see a few 90s down to the south, but at this point, I'm beginning to doubt that. And as we take a look at what's going on as far as tomorrow is concerned, plenty of sunshine for our Wednesday, and we are going to have a high temperature that's going to be in the low 90s, so a hotter day tomorrow. All right, here's my forecast for today. Mid-80s for a high today, banking on a decent amount of sunshine this afternoon as clouds give way. Uh, showers and thunderstorms still a chance out there, too, especially to the west. Very humid. And, yes, a southwest wind at 5 to 10. Three-degree guarantee called for a high on Friday of 84. We got up to 83. It's a three-degree guarantee winner. Let's hear it for James Craig of Owensboro. Congratulations, Shane. You've got an umbrella, and it's courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. That'll be useful. Very useful, not just today, <laughs> but also on Thursday and Friday oh. we'll see more rain after a dry Wednesday. And then over the weekend, we've got some chances for rain as well. And that humid, very, very humid. humid. It's the V humid. That's what it anywhere. is right there. All right. Oh. There's a great sun rise this morning. That's beautiful. It was beautiful in Dale. Jim and Shannon Collins got the goods Love on that those shot. Colors. Sky on fire. Thank you, guys. We'll be right back after this. We've got Jim Johnson cooking and grilling and all sorts of things. We'll be right back.